Hello, and welcome to another Stories with Grandpa. This story is called The Whale and the Worm, and is written by Grandpa Abel, especially for Madison Malia, Luke and Rocky. The Whale and the Worm. Jonah was afraid. He tried to run away. He wouldn't tell the Ninevites they needed to obey. He jumped aboard a sailing ship and sailed across the bay. So God sent in a storm to shorten Jonah's trip. The mast began to break and the sails began to rip. Then Jonah said, It's my fault. It's time I took a dip. So the sailors took him by the arms and threw him off the ship. Then the waves came in and swallowed him whole, and the seas fell calm as a goldfish bowl. Jonah was embarrassed as he sank into the deep. The sailors had been panicking while he was sound asleep. But the sailors worshipped God now for the promises he keeps. So God sent in a big fish. It might have been a whale. But now you'll want to know, did Jonah live to tell the tale? Then the fish came in and swallowed him whole, and for three long days Jonah thought about his soul. Jonah was quite sorry as he thought about his ways. This is not the way he thought he'd live his final days. So he turned his heart to God, and he shouted out his praise. So God then asked the fish to go swimming near dry land, and the fish got kind of seasick as it washed upon the sand. Then Jonah left the fish as it spat him out whole, and Jonah preached in Nineveh, achieving God's goal. The Ninevites stopped fighting and listened and obeyed. Now tired Joe was thankful for a vine that God had made. He decided to sit under it and rest it in its shade. So God then sent a worm to start nibbling on a leaf. But Jonah sat there pouting and pouring out his grief. And the worm just went on eating till it swallowed it whole. And Jonah had a headache and his eyes began to roll. Jonah was just angry. Now his shade had gone away. He was cross that all his enemies had turned to God that day. He'd rather live in comfort than hear what God would say. So God then questioned Jonah. So you cared about the vine, but you didn't want your enemies to know the love of mine? Are you scared? Or are you angry? Are you sorry? Are you sad? when you know the good you should do, but you end up doing bad. So God sent his son Jesus to take the pain from you, if you will place your trust in him and find his love is true. The End Good night, and God bless.